Copper River pastors pushing back against a backlash tonight. This all started when Metro City Church announced there was a workshop for teen girls struggling with, quote, thoughts that are trans, bi, gay, or others. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel joins us now live. And Brian, the debate obviously over what used to be called conversion therapy. Yeah, that's correct, Stephen. And adding on to that description that you just mentioned, here is the post for it. And it says, in addition to those that are struggling with thoughts that are trans, bi, gay, or other, it doesn't have to be this way. With God's help, there can be healing, wholeness, and hope through thoughtful, relevant, and biblical counsel. Now, the pastor says this is a conversation, not condemnation, but not all are taken in that way. And actually, some have crossed the line to threats to both the church and the pastor. Is this workshop, this program, not pray the gay away? Oh, no. As a matter of fact, what we would say is that uh, we are pro-choice in this. Pastor Jeremy Sachot says in his roughly two yeah, decades building Metro City Church, he hasn't seen anything like the backlash to his unashamed identity workshop. The hate, the vulgarity, the uh, pornography that has flooded all of our social media, all of our inboxes in every single way. Uh, death threats to me, death threats to my family, to my kids, uh, wanting to burn down our church, our homes. It is crazy if a kid wants to talk to a loving, reasonable adult with their parent and with their parent's permission. Why would that be a bad thing? Despite saying the workshop is not conversion therapy, Dragging somebody in a room, forcing a kid or an adult into a room and beating them over the head with the Bible or shaming them or guilting them. We want nothing to do with that. A former member of his congregation says he walked away feeling it was. I feel horrible. I don't want any other children to go through what I went through. Tully says he started transitioning from Olivia to Seth around two to three years old and went to Pastor Sesho around 13. I was in the room with, with him alone and just praying, laying hands on me, and was just alleviating me to death and would refer to me as she and would not call me Seth or use any male pronouns. Seth's mother Kim says she's learned parents of kids struggling with identity, sexual or otherwise, should look to professionals, not church. It's dangerous. It leads to high suicide rates. They need to let that child come to them and just be them and, and for them to find out for themselves what the truth is. Now, a local group is planning a protest at the Riverview Church on Thursday. They are quick to condone any threats, and both sides of this say that they expect that protest to be peaceful. Reporting live, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Brian.